You're watching UNICEF television. There's a cruel irony hanging over the vast tented camps of Pakistan in the wake of the devastating floods which washed away nearly two million homes and impacted the lives of 20 million people just a few weeks ago. Today, what is most needed is clean water. The needs of the people affected are many. But right now, we need to focus on safe drinking water, hygiene and sanitation. Because without these, there is a serious danger of diseases spreading. Here in Tata, UNICEF and its partners have set up a water filtration site to clean water from a local canal and are now providing clean water for up to 4,000 affected families. Women and girls are often walking one or two kilometers several times a day to get water. The filtration plant also distributes clean water to three large water bladders, huge plastic sacks used to store the clean water and strategically placed throughout the camp. Nonetheless, the emergency is far from over. The, the flood waters, while uh, in some areas, is still rising. Um, but the area where, where we are right now, Thatta, the flood waters hit last month, and people have started going back. But for many, there is little to go back to. The sprawling camps surrounding the town of Tata are their makeshift homes for now. The land is dusty and strewn with rubbish, flies are everywhere, and the heat is suffocating. Shazia is a 22-year-old mother of five who came to this camp in Tata with her husband and children more than a month ago. Our house and the land where we lived are still covered with water up to here. Everything was washed away with the water, our crops and our animals, everything. Across the flood-affected areas of Pakistan, UNICEF and its partners are now reaching over 3.8 million people with safe water every day. But as the floodwaters recede, funds are drying up. Only half of the money UNICEF needs to sustain its efforts over the next 12 months has been received. And still more is urgently needed to stave up a potential second wave of suffering. This is Anya Barron reporting for UNICEF Television. For more information, visit unicef.org. Unite for Children.